in the flywheel of lambretta i found some things to be observed for the proper operation of lambretta this is the timing light and this is the standard wire gauge and these are the regulator rectifiers and these are the condensers and these are the contact points let us have a look this flywheel is modified for some purpose and this is the original ducati made in italy this is for lambretelli 150 series 2 here you will find one cam this upper portion this upper portion is called cam if you closely monitor on the flywheel on this area there is roughness on the cam what happens if there is roughness on the cam i will show you the actual good one see there are no scratches on this everything is full clear it is very neat and clean it is very neat and clean finishing is also very fine the cam should be like this the standard of cam must be like this but not like this so you will find lot of scratches and pittings also are there if that portion is such what happens the contact point which is on the stator when this contact point this point comes and touches this cam it will it will get open the basic touching portion is this one if the finishing if the finishing of the cam is not good if there are scratches or pittings on that this portion will immediately will become like powder and as this portion goes out the clearance will increase and your lambretta will stop on the spot and you will not come to know until you carry out the proper inspection you will be keep on kicking the scooter and you will keep on checking the carburetor and you will keep on checking the spark so it is very essential that such type of things when your lambretta is not giving spark particularly with the contact point system you must first check the spark step by step we must come step by step starting from the spark plug to the coil and to the ignition circuit these are the steps it is very easy but normally this thing will ha normally this thing will not happen uh, the basic purpose is whenever you bring a scooter from scrap yard or uh, whenever you are purchasing a scooter from anyone the thorough inspection of the circuit is very very important and one more thing with the condenser the condenser will be on the stator like this the condenser in the circuit will be connected to the main coil that is for ignition and which goes to the hd coil and from hd coil to the spark plug i have three condensers with me i will show you the reading with this multimeter uh, what should be the uh, range this is actually for lambretelli 150 series 2 but these are not for lambretelli 150 series 2 but this type of condensers also work very well on lambretta until unless the technical things and readings are accurate then you can definitely start the scooter one important thing to be observed in the condenser is that
you connected you connected one point to the contact point you connected one point to the contact point and the other point is connected through the main coil which is going to the spark plug but remember until unless this is not grounded you will not get spark if you are if you, suppose this one uh, the condenser on the stator is suppose spoiled not working at all no problem you can place this condenser out of this stator plate also so, but it has to be earthed properly if it is not earthed properly you will not get spark at all that means suppose if you are providing outside of the uh, outside of the stator unit the body must touch the scooter's frame otherwise the circuit will not be completed here in this if you watch the circuit is completed by touching this plate and this plate is secured to the mag housing now i will show you the reading what must be the reading let us check the readings of the condenser for the proper operation you can connect any tip to any lead there is no problem from 0.8 to 1.2 is the best reading please remember from 0.8 to 1.2 is the best reading put one from here and to other and touch the body you should not get any reading and let us check the continuity also you should not get any continuity on the body once you touch one lead and you are placing on the body you are placing on the body the other lead you should not get you should not get any reading that means it is okay now it is giving budget that means there is a continuity here in this also when we check it from one lead to the body there is no continuity and when we check it between the two points we are getting the reading that means 0.8 up to 1.2 to 1.5 maximum that means the condenser is working very fine please remember it has to be grounded to complete the circuit for proper operation of lambretta it is looking thin it is looking little little bit bigger and this is the big one all are little little different in volume but let us check the reading whether the readings are accurate for our operation of lambretta touched one and the other leg it is continuity we are getting continuity that means it is okay now i will change for checking the ohms the reading is 1.2 1.1 it is also fine it is also working very fine when i put in continuity you should get budget that means there is no discontinuity in the circuit let us check this one it is bigger in volume the point here is broken but no problem we can still check there is continuity
1.5 it is also very fine this is my timing light this will be connected at the spark plug these are the positive and negative leads even you can use bike battery 12 volts bike battery to work on this i hope it is useful let us meet again